was listening to a podcast this morning about making weather stations using a Raspberry Pi computer and it got me thinking about whether you could make a weather station using micro bits. And I think you probably could, uh, but you'd have to use individual micro bits for different parts of the weather station. You could use the light sensor perhaps to measure the amount of sunlight falling on the micro bit. You could use the processor's temperature sensor obviously to uh, measure how hot or cold a micro bit is and perhaps use radio to transmit it. Uh, to a remote sensor, uh, but I got thinking about um, a rain gauge in particular and how you can make a really simple rain gauge. Here's a, here's a very crude idea for how you can make one. It's only got sort of three levels and it works like this. So the idea is you have a micro bit with some crocodile clip leads which are connected to copper tape strips in a plastic container and they are connected to pins 0, 1 and 2 on the micro bit and we have the one on the far right is connected to the ground pin and that completes the circuit. So when we put water in, electricity will complete the circuit using the touch pin facilities from the ground pin to pin zero, pin one or pin two on the micro bit. So when we pour some water into this in a minute, you should see what happens. You should see different levels of bar graph readings on the micro bit, depending on which pins are being touched in effect by the water conducting electricity between the pin and the ground pin on the micro bit. So pin one, when we've got the least amount of water, uh, will, will light up. Pin two should sense that it's been touched when we've got a little bit more water. So that copper strip is a little bit uh, shorter than the one on pin zero and that will complete the circuit. And pin two finally is the shortest copper strip of all so we have to have the most amount of water in the uh, container to uh, to make that light up so let's have a go let's uh, pour some tap water it has to be tap water really because it needs to have some impurities in to conduct electricity we should see the lights go up on the micro bit um, as the water goes in so we pour some water in and you'll see it's completed the circuit to pin zero um, this water uh, conducting electricity so it, it senses that it's been touched uh, if we pour a bit more water in it should go up to pin one now and it's lit up the uh, bar graph on the led display a bit more to show that that's gone in and finally if we pour some more water in okay, right up to the top we should be able to reach the last pin which is pin two and yeah, there we go so you can see that now all three pins are sensing that they're being touched by the micro bit they're conducting electricity back to ground the micro bit is sensing that and displaying it. Here's the make code program that makes that work. So at the start of the program it clears the screen and we use two variables, level uh, to keep track of what the current level of the water is and max level to see how far up it's got. And in a forever loop what it does is it keeps checking to see how many of those three pins have been pressed, in other words which level the water has reached. If it's got as far as pin zero, which is the one that's lowest down in the container, um, it sets the level to one. And what it does is it sets a new maximum level. We've got up to level one. It plots a bar graph going from level zero up to level three on the display. So we can see it's reached that level. If pin zero and pin one are both pressed, that means the water must have reached the second level. And the bar graph goes up a bit higher. I can't show that in the uh, emulator, unfortunately. Can't show that in the simulator because it's difficult to press both buttons at the same time, both pins at the same time. We've got the third level, means we've got pin zero and pin one and pin two are all pressed together, which means the water is touching all three of those copper strips, zero, one, and two, connected to zero, one, and two pins, and also the ground pin completing the circuit. So we've got all three pins pressed together that means the water must have reached the highest possible level it's gone up to three we get a new maximum level and so the bar graph will go up to the maximum level obviously if you're using your micro bit anywhere near water you need to be really really careful so make sure your micro bit is only powered off batteries and also make sure water doesn't get anywhere near the actual micro bit itself that it only touches the copper tape which you keep well away from the actual micro bit now, this only will give readings of three different levels of rainfall, so it's not very accurate. A colleague of mine had a really good idea for making a more accurate rain gauge. Quite simply, you just put a really strong magnet on a float and then use the micro bit to measure the strength of the magnetic field. You could then calibrate that to get quite an accurate reading of how high the water level is. So that would make a really interesting experiment. I'd like to have a go at that. 
Or you could use the same idea maybe to measure river levels. You could put a float in a tube uh, with a strong magnet on it and use a micro bit again the same way to measure how high the level of a river was. If you have any ideas for how you could improve that or other ways you could make a micro bit weather station, I'd love to hear about them.